Hey everyone, Jason Odell here and I got a quick photo tip for you if you're like me and you like to post your photos to Instagram. And Instagram is wonderful for using your cell phone, you know, taking pictures. And by default, you probably know that Instagram uses a square crop. But you can crop it down, you can you can shrink that to make it more rectangular. The big problem that you run into with Instagram is that if you have a vertical picture like this one here I have on the screen then you either have to crop it square or you're gonna end up cropping it to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio which isn't always the way you intended if you're using a regular DSLR camera that captures with a uh, 3 to 2 aspect ratio so what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you in Lightroom how we can use the print module to make a square mat around this save the files a JPEG so that you can upload it to Instagram so I've got this image on the screen here and it's a vertical and I'm, I don't want to crop it. I want to get all this nice light in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the print module in Lightroom. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a template that we can use to, to save and then uh, make a square matted image. We can apply our watermark or our identity plate to it. So let's go ahead and start off with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change and we're going to make a custom page size. So I'm going to go to the page setup uh, menu down here in the bottom which I'm just going to choose any printer in the page setup dialog and I'm going to go to my manage custom sizes and I've set up one that's square but all you have to do is set up a custom page size okay we're not going to actually print this this is going to be for a file and I'm making it 10 by 6 6 inches square okay and no margins so that's going to be my def that's going to be my page I'm going to click OK and then click OK here I'm going to make this vertical click OK now you see we've got this square virtual piece of paper and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all the rotate buttons so we've got this vertical image and now you can decide what kind of background you want to make. So my my layout here, I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna squeeze the margins a little bit just to make it look nice. And I'm going to make the cell size maximal here. So I'm on the right hand side under the layout panel. Okay. If you want to add a little border, you can add a a border. This can be any color. But let's go ahead and change the background color. So instead of a white page, what if you wanted it to be a black or a gray mat? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to here where it says page on the right hand side and we're going to check the box marked page background color and then click on the color there. And let's just change it to black or you can make it dark gray or you can make it whatever color you want. I'm going to go with black. Okay. And I'm going to make my stroke border here. I'm going to choose the color there. I'm going to make it a sort of a medium gray okay and go like that alright now down here in the page I can choose whether I want to apply a watermark or the identity plate now if you've got a watermark saved you can check this box here so I can do my watermark and a watermark is always going to be on the actual image itself so it's going to be on the, the photo that can be useful if you don't want people copy and pasting your picture uh, that way you've got your watermark right on the image alternatively you can choose the identity plate and this is the identity plate that you set up in Lightroom It's the same thing you see up here in the upper left so you can customize that if you want um, I'm gonna choose to not rotate it I'm just gonna move it down here just click and grab it and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger now when I set up my identity plate it was yellow but if I want to change the color I can click this box called override color I could make it white or gray or whatever color I wanted to okay so this is pretty cool so I've got this border here this is my virtual page and now I want to set up for printing it and we're not gonna print it we're gonna save it to a file so that's one of the options you've got in the print module here so underneath print job on Lightroom you want to print to JPEG file and we're going to set the resolution to 
96 DPI. And with our 10.66 by 10.66 inch square page, that's going to give us about roughly uh, 1024 pixels on a side, which is a perfectly appropriate size for uploading to Instagram. You can choose your print sharpening. I'm just going to go ahead and say standard sharpening for glossy. That's fine. JPEG quality, you don't need 100. You can go ahead and set this to something like 80. Okay. And the profile is going to be sRGB, perceptual. That's fine. Everything is good. Before I click print the file, I'm going to go over here to my user templates. Now I'm on the left hand side of the screen over here. Click plus. Call it Instagram. You can put it wherever you want. Click create. It'll make this template. So that if you come back, you've saved it, you can just click that template. You'll get this square layout. Now all you need to do is click the print to file button. It'll come up here and under your under your um, files, wherever you want to have them, you can just say give it a file name and click save. Okay. So the only thing that this won't do compared to your Lightroom export is not going to automatically populate the file name. But you're going to get this nice background and you're going to be able to upload this image as a square to Instagram with a nice mat. So until I see you again, I'm Jason O'Dell. Check out my website, luminescentphoto.com. Take it easy.